Hey, Tony here. Today I'm going to go over all of the titles that I picked up during the month of December, so stick around. So December wasn't as busy of a month as some of these past months have been. Um, I did pick up quite a few titles though. There were some really big weeks during the beginning of the month. And then it kind of tapered down after the holidays. So today I'm going to go over all of the titles that I picked up during the month of December. First up, I picked up Creep Show Season 4. Really nice that they were keeping this going, especially with these really cool looking slipcovers. So happy to have that. Then we got Stand By Me, a 4K still book. Very happy to have this one. One of my favorite movies of all times got released. We have The Color Purple. Really nice looking slipcover with Whoopi Goldberg. And a beautiful looking still book from the UK. So very happy to have these in the collection. Another great film that I really enjoy and that is Silver Bullet. Got a 4K release from Screen Factory. And then another great film, Point Break, Shout Select release with a slipcover. And also this amazing looking still book from Best Buy. So very happy to have these in the collection. Another great release for the month for the first week was Young Guns. This really nice looking slipcover. I do hope we get Young Guns 2 on 4K. And then this great looking still book that they did from Best Buy. Another big release for the month was Titanic on 4K. So I picked up the slipcover edition. I know that they had the big box set. I want to get that set, but money is really tight right now. So I haven't been able to pick that one up. I do hope I'm able to get that one eventually. Another big release for the month was Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny. I did get the 4K release with this really nice looking embossed slipcover. And then we got this nice embossed Blu-ray slip edition with different artwork. Walmart had an exclusive pen edition with a different slipcover. And we also got a steelbook release from Best Buy. So very happy to have those in the collection. I did enjoy um, the Dial of Destiny. It wasn't my favorite, of course, but it was still very nostalgic for us. And I'm glad that me and my wife were able to see that one in the theater. Another release for the um, first week was Billy Idol, the concert um, live at the Hoover Dam. So I got that. I got Appleseed, which is supposed to be a really great story. Need to check that one out. Um, from Keno Lorber, I got The Ballad of Little Joe. This really nice looking slip. Um, I got A Disturbance in the Force, How the Star Wars Holiday Special Happened. A little documentary. I'm looking forward to checking that one out. The Quester Tapes from Keno Lorber with the slip. The Kill Room 4K with a slip. I'm not very familiar with this one. This one kind of just snuck up on me. I did pick it up, but I did not watch it during the holiday. Um, I got Office Christmas Party 4K release. I did actually watch this one. It is a raunchy comedy. It was okay. I had some fun with it, but it wasn't my um, it wasn't my favorite. Um, we got The Day of the Locust from Arrow with this slip cover. I got Rio Bravo, the 4K steelbook release from the UK that was released in the first week. So very happy to have that one. And then for um, DVD, I got the Daddy Daughter Trip. Um, I've never seen this one before. I've heard some good things about it. It's got Rob Snyder in it. So I'm definitely looking forward to checking that one out. So that was all that was released during the first week. Okay, during the second week, that was the biggest week of releases. This is where a majority of my haul came from for the month. Um, we did get The Mandalorian Seasons 1 and Season 2 Steelbook release, which I'm very thankful that they did these. So very happy to have these in the collection. From 88 Films, I got um, Long Arm of the Law. So here's parts one and two in this really nice um, box edition. From Kino Lorber, I got The Man Who Wasn't There in 3D. I do collect all the 3D films, so very happy to have this one added. Um, we got The Man From Nowhere, um, the 4K release with this really nice looking slipcover. We have Five Nights at Freddy's with a slip, 4K release. We got the release of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Mutant Mayhem. 4K release and this really great looking steelbook release which I opted for the Walmart exclusive that includes a mini poster and then from the U um, from Australia I got the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle collection from Umbrella little bitty box slip box set 
Then we have Looney Tunes Collections, Collector's Choice Volume 2 from Warner Archive. We have the Wailing 4K release with this really nice looking slip. Great film. We have the Weird Al Yankovic story. On 4K from Shout Factory. We have this release for the Creator. I got the 4K edition and also the Blu-ray edition because of the different slips. Um, I've heard nothing but great things. I'm definitely going to be checking this out here in the next few days. Um, another great film that I really enjoy and that is Clue. We got a 4K release with a slip with this beautiful, beautiful looking slip cover. And then a big release was the Kino Lorber 4K release for Face Off. So happy to have that one. Then we got Showdown at the Grand with a slipcover. Not very familiar with this one. Um, I am collecting all the movie releases. So I got Passages. I'm not very familiar with that one. I got the Quartermass Experiment from Kino Lorber with a slip. I got Stella Marie from 1918. I got OSS 117. Moon Age Daydream, limited to collector's edition. This right here um, actually has a still book with it. I got this Django release from the UK. It's a 4K release. I got The Fall of Akko Castle. This right here is from Eureka. And I also got Casino Raiders from Eureka. I got the Care Bears movie. This right here is a media book release. Um, I didn't have the Care Bears movie in the collection. I've got Care Bears 2. I don't think that we ever got the Care Bears movie released here in the States. So when they released this one, I picked it up. This is a Blu-ray and DVD release with a really nice looking media book. I got The Lost with a slip. There's nothing out there with a slip. I got the Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory 4K Steelbook release from the UK. And then I got the Elf Steelbook release with this really nice box art. It's got a bunch of stuff in this. So very happy to have that. I got Dumb Money, the GameStop story with a slip. School Days 4K release with a slip. Suspect Zero 4K release with a slip from Kino Lorber. I got Shaun the Sheep, the complete series. This right here is from Shop Factory. I got House of the Long Shadows with a slip. This right here is another Kino Lorber release. I got The Apprenticeship of um, Duddy Kravitz. Not very familiar with this one. Running Scared, Kino Lorber release. Um, Horrors of the Black Museum. Hail Caesar, the MVD Rewind Collection with a slip. And also I got Mercy Road with a slip. This is all from the second week. Okay, for the third week in December, we got a big release. Um, we got the Avatar 4K Steelbook release with this beautiful looking artwork. Happy to have that one. They also released the 3D version with a slip. So really nice. And then they did this um, Digibook style packaging for Avatar and Avatar The Way of Water. These are four disc sets. And um, these right here were really hard to get. So hopefully they'll do a restock soon for those that missed out. Um, we got the Dead Zone 4K release with a slip cover from Shop Factory. We also got the hard box Kevin Costner in JFK, an Oliver Stone film. Really nice set. I really enjoyed this film. So happy to have that. And then we also got the Warriors 4K release from Arrow Video. Got this really new, nice looking um, box here. And then the store exclusive with the original artwork. So glad that I was able to get both of those. Um, we got another MVD Rewind Collection release for Mondo New York with a slip. We got Monk, the complete second season. Very happy that they're doing these. We got Pet Cemetery 4K release, which does not come with the slip cover, which is aggravating. So I ended up getting the um, Blu-ray release with the slip so that I would have a slip. 
which these right here were outrageously priced. I don't know why they were charging so much for those, but they did. Um, I got the Ghost Station, Dead on Arrival. This right here is a Blu-ray with a slip. I'm not very familiar with this one. The Wandering Earth 2 with a slip. Another one that I'm not very familiar with. Um, Les Vampires with a slip. Um, we have Ultraman vs. Alien Bonton. Ultraman Battle Kaiju series number two with the slip. This is from Elk Creek Entertainment. We have Rumble Through the Dark with a slip. We have August Underground Penance with a slip. The Retirement Plan with Nicolas Cage does not come with a slip. Um, I have the World Noir Volume 1 from Radiance Films. I am trying to get all the Radiance Film sets. This right here is a three film collection, hard box, very nice edition. I'm also collecting the Kino Cult release. So we have the number four release um, called The Center or Just Center. The Secret Diary of a Nymphomaniac. So I know that we have these first three releases that came out for the Kino Cult line. And I know I get a lot of comments about the types of films that I pick up. So I am, I, I do not watch these films, um, especially if, if I read up on it and know that there's something that's not appealing to me. So I do not watch these, and but I do collect them. So I'm thinking really hard during this upcoming year of what I'm going to collect and how I'm going to collect, uh, but maybe that'll be for a later video. I do have Clyde Barker's Underworld. Um, this right here is another Kino um, cult film. So there are some good titles. I say good. I've never seen this film. But to me, um, with these numbered spines, I do try to collect these. So I don't know. I'm having a hard time deciding what I'm going to do with this kind of collection. So lastly for this week, we have The Exorcist Believer 4K release with this slip. Really like the artwork on the slipcover. We also got a 4K steelbook release from Best Buy. And we also got a 4K steelbook release from Walmart. So very happy to have those in the collection. So for the last week of December, there were just very few titles released. We do have Butcher's Crossing. I was able to see this one. Um, and I enjoyed it for what it was. It wasn't the best film. It's a really nice looking western though. I enjoyed the story. But overall, it was decent. So I'm happy to have it on physical media. We all, I also picked up the Blue Jean Monster with the slipcover. Not very familiar with this film. Um, the Inspector Wears Short... Um, the Inspector Wears Shirt. The Inspector Wears Skirts with a slipcover. I was going to say shorts. I was going to say shirts. And then it says skirt. So I kind of struggle with that one. And then I got the Screenbox original film, Shaky Shivers. This is the collector's edition with a slipcover. And this right here is another one of those numbered spines. Um, so I had to pick this one up. This right here is number 16. So happy to have that one. And then from Imprint from Australia, I got Islands in the Stream. Lenny, and I got the Marlon Brando Volume 1 Film Focus box set. So very happy to have these box sets. I do like the box sets that they do. It's got a lot of films on it that I didn't have in the collection. So that's what I picked up during the last week of December. So those are all of the titles that I picked up during December. Like I said, it was a light month, just a little over 100 titles during this month. Um, so. Overall, I'm really pleased with what came out. And as I had mentioned earlier, I am really thinking differently about the way I'm going to collect during 2024. I do want to start saving some money. Um, and to do that, of course, I can't be buying every single copy of every single film. Um, there are a lot of films that I didn't even get to watch during this past year even though I'll watch at least one movie every single day there were a lot that I didn't get around to watching um, so I am I'm really thinking hard about how I'm going to collect during the future um, I do want to like I said I do want to start saving some money 
Um, thankfully, I'm not in debt. By the way, I you know you would think that by the way that I spend that I would be really just in credit card debt like crazy. Fortunately, I have a job that pays well that I've been on for over twenty something, over twenty five years, and. So it's been able. I've been able to purchase the things that I want to purchase, but there are some things that I really shouldn't even think about buying. I don't have to have every single copy of every single movie, so I am definitely thinking differently about that. But anyways, leave me a comment below. Let me know what you think about this particular um, release month. Let me know some of the items that you were able to pick up during December, and also share with me some of the titles that you got as gifts during December because I really do enjoy reading your comments. If you like what you saw here today, please give it a thumbs up and share the video. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd really appreciate it if you would subscribe. If you do subscribe, please remember to hit that notification bell so that you can be notified every time I upload a new video. If you haven't found me on my social media accounts, I'm on Instagram, TikTok, and on Twitter. And if you'd like to find out what I've been watching, you can find me over on Letterboxd. I do have links below. But thanks again for watching, and we will see you next time.